This is my new rooster. A friend of mine who I met through uh, the survivalistblog.net. He was a he's a commenter there. Uh, he doesn't live far from me. We uh, made a trade. I had uh, that's the cage I used to bring chickens home, and I had another cage just like that that I bought for two bucks at a yard sale. So I traded him that cage for this rooster. The rooster's uh, between four and you know about four and a half months old. And uh, I hope to God he doesn't try to uh, assault me every time I come in here. Because I really do want to have a rooster. I like the sound of a rooster. He's holding his own. Uh, I didn't give him the, the introductory period like I gave my last three uh, foster chickens. I just pitched him right in here. And uh, he, went, he went right away to, you know, boxing, I guess. <laughs> And uh, last night I came out here and looked in there, and sure enough, he had two ladies cozied up to him. <laughs> so uh, he's a gentleman, I guess, sharing his sharing his body heat. <laughs> I'll keep you updated on him. I haven't come up with a name. <clears throat> I thought about Larry the Rooster, but my brother's name is Larry, so I don't want to name him a family member's name. I thought about maybe Rick the Rooster, but I give it some time. He's got real long legs, and uh, he looks like a little, uh, you know, his his feathers, the the colors. He looks like a convict. So maybe I'll come up with something. Hey, what was that guy's? Uh, what was that guy's name on? Uh... Oh, Cool Hand Luke. That's what it is. I'm gonna name him Luke. That's what it is. Um, that's it. That's his name. Luke. Luke the Rooster. Alrighty. I'll keep you updated on him. Uh, I went to a flea market yesterday. Uh, the Bonnie and Clyde flea market. It's in Arcadia, Louisiana once a month. And uh, I, I, when I need handles, axe handles, hammer handles, I always go there and get them. Uh, I gave three, no, six bucks each for the uh, for these sledgehammer mall handles, three dollars for the little ball peen hammer handle, and uh, these are either big hammer handles or big ball peen hammer handles. I gave three bucks each for them, including wedges, the metal and the wood wedges. But what I got that's really interesting, and I don't have a clue what they are, are these, and uh, they were a buck a piece. I had to have them. And the only thing I can think of to do with these uh, immediately are I'm going to make a war hammer, a medieval war hammer. And uh, I'll cut this off and sharpen it to a point. And man, that's going to be one hell of a, I mean, you know. Just for show, of course. So uh, that's what this is. But if anybody knows what these are, the guy who sold them to me didn't have a clue either. They are heavy. Thumb is coming along fine. I went ahead and cut the stitch out myself because it was bugging me. And uh, pulled it out with a pair of needle nose. Ha! Probably not supposed to do that, but a doctor doesn't know that I just go nuts if I'm not able to do stuff. But it's healing up pretty good. I'll uh, keep you updated on that. So be looking for my uh, my Warhammer build. I had already planned on building a Warhammer, but I was going to build it with this as the uh, the head. And then sharpen this to a to a point. So I had already had the war hammer idea. See, this is what happens when you go through your junk pile. I clean this out, and I when I come across you know stray nuts and bolts or like I get something and nuts and bolts come in the package, I always just pitch them in here. But I'm not going to do that anymore. That's what was laying in the bottom of that 
So I dumped everything out of that box down here and cleaned it out and got all the nuts and bolts out of here. And one of these days I might go through them and if, if I got anything that matches my real, you know, my nuts and bolts that I keep up here, I'll go ahead and, I mean, I don't throw stuff like this away. And I might have some oddball metric weird thing in there that might be just the, the thing I'm, I'm needing for a project. Yeah, you got me. I went DeWalt nuts. I bought me a new hacksaw. DeWalt. And uh, I have an electric staple gun that's absolute crap. And I uh, sent it back and they sent me another one that was absolute crap. So I was stuck with no staple gun. So I went ahead and bought one. And uh, I think I already showed you them. It's uh, just drivers, nut drivers and uh, square torque and uh, Phillips in this one. Alrighty, uh, keep the eye out. I'm gonna be building me a Warhammer very, very soon. See ya.